Hi everyone, in front of me I've got Oppo Reno 14 FS and let me share with you how to activate automatic system updates on this device. So in this video, I'd like to show you two different ways of um, managing, of enabling the automatic uh, system update. The first one is user friendly and the second one requires opening the developer options. So let's begin. Let's start with opening the settings. And here we have to scroll down to the very, very bottom to find the option system and update. Then let's tap on software update and here tap on the three dots icon in the right upper corner. Now let's tap on auto update. And here we've got this option auto download. Let's tap on it and make sure that it is changed from do not allow to Wi-Fi. I do not recommend using mobile data or Wi-Fi or mobile data because your device will basically use mobile data if it is um, available and um, and it may uh, cause some additional charges. So let's be honest, we are trying to avoid that. So only use Wi-Fi. Moreover, here we've got the option auto update overnight, which is quite a nice option. Mm, here you've got the uh, the explanation that after turning on this option, your device will be automatically updated between 2 and 5 a.m. Uh, so usually those are the hours when we are sleeping and we don't really need our device. So I highly recommend to do that. And the second way, uh, as I said, is more developer, more advanced. So all we have to do is to scroll down to the bottom to find about device. Here, let's scroll down and go to the version and localize this version number. Now keep tapping on it until you'll see the information that you're in the developer mode. Probably you will have to enter your screen lock if you've got one to confirm. Uh, so just do it and then go back. Let's tap on system and update again and tap on developer options. And here all we have to do is to scroll down just a little bit to find this option automatic system update and simply tap on the switcher. And from now on, since this option is active, your device is allowed to apply the updates whenever the device is restarted uh, and obviously whenever the update is available. However, uh, this is more developer option, as I said before, and there is a probability that you won't even notice that your device is downloading the update. So, as I said, it's much more advanced. So it depends on you whether you prefer to have more control over your device, then I highly recommend to use the first option. And if you don't really care, you just want to have the update um, completed, I highly recommend to use this one. All right, so that will be all. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and leave the thumbs up.